just say here outside the Ballsbridge Hotel after Ireland have been victorious, beating Georgia 1 0 at home. Um, Connor, why are you tossing the game? How are you feeling after that? To be honest, Paul, like, how can't we be positive? Like, after, after Ireland winning two games in a row, I know it's 1 0 both of the times, so there's a lot of problems that we need to like, get sorted out before we even, even bother talking about the next couple of games because. These two games, yes, we have six points and we are at the top of the table, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, because uh, it was three three tonight between Switzerland and Denmark. Right, well, like, there's no complaints there, but there's a lot of problems up top. I think there's a lot of problems that need to be sorted out. I know there was a lot of people shouting out for McGoldrick to be man of the match there, but like, I don't see it. I just don't see how he could be man of the match just for holding up the ball for a couple of minutes and doing absolutely nothing for the rest of the game. But how can't we be happy? Winning the last two games, one not. Okay, well, like you, if you compare it to under our last train under O'Neill, in regards to the chances created, the chances we actually got up for, we got in the box, we got we, we made chances happen. Which before we were dominating possession by George, I'm pretty sure we weren't dominating possession tonight. Yeah, it was a serious difference in in, in our tone, in our in our aggressiveness. There was a lot more to it. I thought. Did you not think that? Um, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I thought there were much more. Like the pressure was definitely more on today than it was the last day. The last day, like I was, I was looking at the game today. I was thinking, why would I come to the Aviva today yeah. after the game over in uh, Gibraltar? Yeah. I was like, what, what would it be worth? But then, and you wouldn't have been blamed. Though, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, like why wouldn't you? And like, but if you're bringing it back to Martin O'Neill, it's like the same thing. Does is the manager making that much of a difference? But and then you see it with Solskjaer, with United, and that kind of stuff. So. Is Mick McCarthy going to make the same difference for Ireland? We all hope so, but like, I'm not sure of it. I'm not I like. Obviously, we're all really positive. For two, two out of two. What more can we ask for? And hopefully, the next is we're going to continue build on this. Is the plan to build on this? So I hope the end works like that. Yeah, and just in regards to the whole tennis ball situation, because it was surrounding the goals. Uh, what were your, what were your thoughts on that? Would you agree with it? Or do you think it could have been done at a different time? What were your thoughts on it? Yeah. Yeah. I, do you know what? I think it's an absolute shambles the fact that that man is in there making the same amount of money as uh, as he does and what he went on when what went on with him. But the problem now occurs is where he's put into position where as his executive position, and now you have like a female coming through and I hope she gets the same money that he was getting. I heard it's a male, so I I don't know. I'm, I'm talking about the actual tennis ball situation on the pitch. Ah, well, it's, uh, yeah, but like yeah, yeah. He like it's it's he has to be out surely. Because he's just scamming the base the whole time. And it's not about football anymore with him. It's just about making money. Because okay. yeah, that, that, that's, that's our that's opinion. And, and, uh, I'm not disagreeing. I'm just. Uh, I would like to get bring your it opinion back to the football. It. Bring no, it back no, to the no, football. No, 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 no. That, I was just getting your opinion on it. So, uh, but just in regards to the results. Right. Going go forward. Results. Going forward. Going forward. Positive. Absolutely. We have to be positive. Sure, we have to win the last two games. But totally it, agree. Exactly. We have to be positive. But. At the end of the day, we need to sort out up front, I think. Rogaldrick's probably not good enough to be there. He's done all right, but I don't think he's good enough to spray any balls around. He holds it up, yes, but if you hold up the ball, surely you'd be able to score something. Either a header, fucking some sort of shot, but he just seemingly can't. Yeah, but I, I just mind. saw, if you look at it compared to when we've had Shane Long up there, where the, lot of the times the ball's been gone up and then it's just straight back in their possession at least this time yeah, it's actually yeah, being yeah, held no, up it does Ireland. come back quicker but fortunately for Ireland they have a good defence so at least they are able to get it back whereas now the same thing happens he holds it up and just nothing comes through and he still can't score Shang Yong used to be able to score a cracker every now and again yeah. but look going forward yeah very positive absolutely very, sure we have to be very positive and happy build on this absolutely. build on this absolutely that's, that's the way that's what we're talking about we were sat, it? sat back here before the games six points from six we yeah, would have been yeah, we no complaints absolutely no complaints <laughs> two goals it's not great we, 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 we would have loved three today that's what we were saying before the game three goals today and we would have been the happiest men in the place yeah. but it didn't happen but we're still two from two so happy out it is. Well, uh, that's been Connor's thoughts. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like this video if you like the video. And uh, do you agree with Connor? Do you, or do you just subscribe and comment, not... boys? Subscribe and comment. Subscribe and comment. <laughs> Let us know your thoughts in the comments.